Your battle, though, on a much deeper spiritual level may be God trying to reveal his favor he has for you. He has such favor on your life. And we live in a culture where it's easy to be bold, but not brave. There's a difference. Boldness can lead to bravery, and boldness is often before bravery. But often, boldness is where the door closes. You can be bold right here, but not brave right here. You know what I mean? But which one's louder? Which one impacts more people? Which one sings higher to the heavens? And culturally, we see a lot of boldness. But what about bravery? We've got military in here. We know what bravery is. They do. It's all about respect, bravery. And verbal boldness speaks loudly, but active bravery demonstrates what's in your heart. Talk is cheap, as the old phrase goes. Active Bravery shows what's in the heart. And David was active and brave and bold. He was both. And there's a fine line between foolishness and bravery. The difference is, did God touch it? Did God touch the situation and say, go and conquer the giant? Because if he didn't, David, use a fool. But if God touched it and the spirit shall be on you all your days forward and God confirmed it, just like when Peter walked on the water, God said, come, and then Peter doubted. God confirmed it, and then Peter doubted what God confirmed. It's safe when God confirms something. It's foolish if God was not in it. And so by the infilling of the Spirit, it helps us discern the spirits, whether they are of God or not. The Bible says try the spirits to know. Who's calling you? Is this your own calling? Is this God? Is this, is this the enemy? You know, we need that spiritual discernment in our, in our life, and it's so easy to just be bold. And to David's peers, he was bold, but he looked foolish. But to God, he looked called and he looked brave. God knew David in a way that his brothers sure didn't. His older brothers, for that matter. I mean, he was the baby. No respect. Understandably so. That's like Chloe trying to let Kaylee make all the decisions in the house with the new yarn and their cross stitching and their, their crocheting. That doesn't happen. Chloe's the boss with the yarn because Kaylee's only four and she's the baby. She don't know what she's doing. Maybe God has called her to be a great, you know, crocheter. You don't know. God sees us different just like he saw David different. Are we willing, though, to act on the things that we speak boldly about? And let me tell you, it's not easy. It's not easy. Neither is killing a giant. But if you are willing, God will do the rest. The Lord, it is the Lord's battle, remember. So are you willing to be brave where you are claiming your boldness?